Nizan and Boniadi nearly got married to then boyfriend Tom Cruise. Had a horrifying end to dating affair. Nizan and Boniadi, an actress and also a member of the Church of Scientology, spent a month being audited before she was cleared and groomed to be perfect for dating Tom Cruise from November 2004. It all began when Tom Cruise and Penelope Cruise split, and Cruise searched for a Scientology friendly wife, which grabbed the interest of Scientology leader David Miscavige. He planned to keep close with Cruise and became a matchmaker. Back then, Nizanin was an aspiring actress pursuing a degree in medical school, and she had a boyfriend in her life who was not revealed to the church. To end her relationship with her boyfriend, she was made to believe her boyfriend was cheating on her using her boyfriend's confessions to the church. Following the split with her boyfriend, the religious organization made Nizanin believe that she was being cast in Scientology films. Seeking for fame and break, she gladly agreed to the makeover sponsored by the church in which they had her braces removed and her hair dyed as per Cruz's liking. Sources claim, Boniadi allegedly was told to lose her braces, her red highlights, and her boyfriend. According to a knowledgeable source, she was shown confidential auditing files of her boyfriend to expedite a breakup. But Nizanin and Cruz's relationship did not live up to the hype and after just around two months of dating, the two split in January 2005. However, the cause for the split is a bit weird. Weird in a way that Cruz termed Boniadi's behavior towards David Miscavige as disrespectful. Boniadi was later transferred to a Scientology center located in Florida, where she made the mistake of sharing the secret with a friend when she was unable to hide her emotional distress despite having been strictly forbidden to do such and reveal the details of her courtship with Cruz as some flaws. Sources even claim that Nizanin was later punished in an inhuman manner, and she had to scrub toilets with a toothbrush, clean the bathroom tiles with acid and dig ditches in the middle of the night. The source explained, Naz was embarrassed by her unwitting involvement in this incident and never wanted it to come out, so I kept silent. However, I was deeply disturbed by how the highest ranking members of a church could so easily justify using one of their members, how they so callously punished her and then so effectively silenced her when it was done. It wasn't just the threats, they actually made her feel ashamed, when all she had been was human and trusting. After this incident, Boniadi was left with no choice but to escape the Church of Scientology and continue pursuing her dreams of having a career as an actress. Today, Nizanin is a bona fide star with many blockbusters under her name. It just so happens that the stated series is her second in the network Showtime, the other being the show counterpart. Likewise, in November 2018, she was announced to play former Fox News reporter Rudy Bakhtiar in Roger Ailes' yet-to-be-titled film. As busy as Nizanin seems to be with her acting career, it can't be